Entertainment on your wedding day. Let's talk about all the different types of entertainment. My darling, I love you, 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 I is sneeze. Tasha sneezed. In order to talk about entertainment, I think we have to go to the beginning of the day. The first thing you want to think about is when you're getting ready, do you have music that you want to play in your getting ready room or wherever it is that you're getting ready? It's quite nice to create a little Spotify soundtrack that will, you know, see you through the getting ready period. Then the next time you need to think about entertainment is walking down the aisle. It's quite important to decide whether you're going to have that as live music are you going to have a string quartet are you going to have a harp are you going to have someone sing vocals there's many different ways you could do that equally you could just play a cd or have someone play a song off of their phone which needs to be in airplane mode obviously speak to your venue as well about what sound system they have we compromised on our wedding i picked the song that we were going to walk down the aisle to and then i'd like to say he picked but i suggested and he agreed uh the one that we would walk out together to but i picked a classical piece of music it was called the river flows in you i think that one Okay, so it is called The River Flows In You. I'm a Twi hard, let's not admit that. I really like Twilight and that's where the song came from. And Bella's Lullaby is based on this piece of music called The River Flows In You. And then I went and listened to it and I was like, wow, that's actually a really beautiful piece of music. And I really loved it. Or you could just literally have the traditional Canon in D is like the most popular song to walk down the aisle to. if you were in a church you can have the wedding march there is actually a piece of music called the wedding march <laughs> i love it that's horrible <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the next piece of music you will need if you are having a registry or having a ceremony where the registrars come to the venue is you will need three songs for the time period that you are signing the registrar. It can take a while. You have to sign it, the groom has to sign it, the parents have to sign it or the witnesses or whoever's witnessing it. So it's not the fastest. And then you need your walking out song. We had a bit of a joke with ours. We played Rage Against the Machine Wake Up because it was something that like when I first got together with my husband we were at a wedding and they had an iPod for their music in the evening and he kept going and putting on Rage Against Machine and clearing the dance floor and it was really embarrassing but when Rage Against Machine came on like my husband and two of his friends were like on the dance floor dancing to it so for me it was a funny nod to an experience we'd had at a wedding and also it just made half the congregation like laugh their head off and the other half of the congregation were like what is happening then after the ceremony of drinks reception again you're going to either need a playlist of music or you're going to need some form of entertainment often a singer is quite nice um but again that comes down to budget string quartet would be great i know someone that was part of a brass band and so they had a 21 piece brass band play at their wedding but if you can get some entertainment during that time it's a nice thing to have and that keeps people occupied while you're off doing the photos that's also a time where you could have a magician as well sometimes during the drinks reception people will have a magician come again to keep the guests entertained then the next point you would like to have some entertainment. Three course meal. You set everybody down for the three course meal. Again, we had a playlist. So we just had a playlist that the venue were able to put on in the background, probably about an hour and a half's worth of songs on it. And then it just looped back to the beginning. Most of the time you can't really hear it, but it just keeps the ambience of the room going. Is that the right word? Keeps the ambience going. I've seen people have singing waiters. They are hilarious, by the way. They're basically waiters that like go around during the drinks reception and the actual meal and like be waiters. And then all of a sudden they'll do that really cheesy thing where they suddenly start a fight and everyone's like, oh my God. Or they'll drop something and like make a big mess. And everyone's like, oh, what just happened? And then they'll break out into song and then they start dancing on the table. And then all of a sudden you've got like six singing waiters. Everyone gets into it and it's really good fun. So then coming to the evening for your evening entertainment, really again, it comes down to what you're after, what your budget is and what you're looking for. I always think a DJ is pretty good because 
Usually that fits to the venue requirements. Often the venue will recommend a DJ. You've got quite a good control. They can take requests. On the flip side, a band is always gonna be amazing to have live music, but you really need to check with your venue because a lot of venues have limitations on decibels, in which case a band possibly is gonna be too loud for your venue. More often than not, a band will learn your first dance song if you want them to. But again, you could also have that played on a CD or something. Um, but that's something else you would need to think about is what song are you gonna do your first dance to? It doesn't always have to be about dancing. Like some people are just not into that and they're more into what I call fine wine and good conversation evenings. In which case then have a think about that. Like, is there something that you would want to incorporate into your wedding, which also allows for that. Again, as I always say time and time again in this video, it's, there is no right or wrong way to do it. You can do absolutely whatever you want. And I think ultimately you want to tailor make it to what you as a couple would like to have. I think that pretty much sums it up. Cheesy smile at the end.